there thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video you'll have to excuse me i just woke up from a nap um i was having a pretty bad migraine anyway we went to our local second hand store today and we did get four bags of stuff so if you'd like to see what we got how much we spent all that kind of stuff i know you probably thought this was a grocery haul it is not but please keep on watching All right, so we'll go in and just get started with the little bag. So Sean found this um, Game of Thrones. So I don't know what book number this is. Is it just the whole entire? It's not the whole entire Game of Thrones. Anyway, so it was on sale, or sorry, it wasn't on sale. It's the second hand store, our local Deseret Industries. There's no tax applied. Anyway, okay, so it was $1.50. So he did pick this up. You used to have most of the books? I had all the ones that were. You had all the ones. Anyway. So he grabbed this. Um, Sean actually found this for me, and I'm super excited for it. It's this absolutely beautiful. Um, it's this beautiful uh, tile, and it's autumn pumpkins, falling leaves, harvest. It was a dollar. I'll need to look up the brand because um, this is actually made in Italy, and it's Rialto Terra. I bet you this was pretty expensive, but yeah, actually it's a made in Italy stamp. That is so cool. It is beautiful. So can't wait to put this up somewhere. And like I said, for a buck, he knows me so well. So that was what was in the first bag. Let me go ahead and show you what was what's in the second. Okay. So I found two cookbooks. I do like cookbooks, especially with fall coming up here, hopefully. So um, Sean got me a pressure cooker. So um, anyway, so this is 115 delicious family-friendly pressure cooker recipes. And it was a dollar. So it's got pictures and all sorts of stuff. So I'm excited to look through this um, just because... You know, when I had my old pressure cooker, which it stopped working, but when I had my old pressure cooker, um, all we did was like soups and stuff in it. So it will be nice to like have maybe some different um, ideas we could possibly do. So grab this for a buck. So Sean found this one as well, and it is absolutely adorable. It is the crock pot. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Anyway. It's the Crock-Pot cookbook, and it's got all sorts of cute recipes in it. So, Yankee pot roast and veggies, shredded beef fajitas, broccoli and beef pasta. So, all sorts of, like, cool recipes, and this was also a dollar. So, grab that. Um, you'll be proud of me. So, I had two other cookbooks. I had some wax melts. I had a... Con Air brand new face steamer still in the box with all the plastic that was ten dollars and I did put away a lot of, I did put back a whole bunch of stuff so just FYI okay I'm gonna go ahead and pop our pizza in the oven okay, okay. perfect timing because I know what time to take it out. Um, they had these emergency, had these emergency straws, so it's iodine-free, chemical-free, PBA-free, um, removes 99.9% .9 of crypto, giardia, chlorine chemicals. Anyway, so it's like an emergency straw. Anyway, they were 50 cents, and I've always wanted to try those, what is it, the life straws or whatever. Anyway, um, I don't know, yeah, but they had a whole bunch of them. I picked up two, one for Sean and one for me, but they're brand new, still sealed, everything like that. So it, um, it's a two pack actually, I believe. Yeah, two pack. And so it does um, 20 gallons per straw. So technically 40 gallons per package. So grab these for 50 cents a piece. So got those for 50 cents a piece. Could not pass that up. Um, Sean needed some new shorts just because, oh no, is this t-shirts? This might be t-shirts first. Okay. So got, Sean found this. He loves dad jokes. So this is like a really awesome dad joke t-shirt. So I oh, want this needs to be washed. Anyway, so this was $2. 
So grab this for him. I'm going to start making a laundry pile. Sometimes uh, the clothes are washed when it comes to our secondhand store. Sometimes they are not. Um, let's see here. This is another t-shirt that he found. This is a Deadpool t-shirt. And this was $3. So, grabbed, grabbed this as well. Yep, this one needs to be washed as well. Gotta love it. That's fine. I already needed to wash his shorts that we bought him today. Um, and then I found this one because I thought it was cute. And I thought this would actually be cute for just every day or for Halloween. Pretend I'm a superhero. This just screams Halloween to me. So this one is actually clean. So it does not need to be washed. Um, found some cute ribbon. Um, I loved the... Uh, little leaf but the little scrunch I made out of the leaf ribbon so I found this for 50 cents I don't think there's a ton left on it but I mean enough that I could make some you know but anyway I thought this was really really cute what I'll probably end up doing is combining like doing something like this and cutting them yeah anyway but so that way it's still a thicker scrunchie Anyway, I thought it was really, really pretty for 50 cents. I couldn't pass it up. So, grab that. It's a little bit stiffer. Anyway, 50 cents. Got that. Um, I thought this was so cute. It is... I don't know what brand it is, but it's super cute. It is a little sloth. I love sloth so much. I think they're so cute. This was 50 cents. Anyway, grab this and I love him already. He's so cute. Grab this as well. I don't know what it is, but it's so adorable. It was a dollar and it is a popsy. Uh, it looks like a little dragon. That's what it looks like to me is a little dragon, but it has a little tail that you can like curl around and stuff. And I didn't realize that until we were putting stuff in the car and it started making noise. But its little eyes light up. I don't know if it's just growling. You just press its nose. Yeah, it's like just growly, but super cute for a dollar. Anyway, I thought it was adorable for a buck, so grab that. Did I need it? I sure didn't, but whatever. It's adorable. Okay, I think this is, yeah, this is the bag with the shorts in it. So yeah, he needed some new shorts. Um, he has three pairs and I've just been washing them, but we also just needed to make sure he had enough. Anyway, so grab, they were all $4. So we got him this cute pair of kind of like basketball shorts. So grab those, grab this other nice pair of shorts. Um, anyway, this one that has like the drawstring, which is nice. These are all a large, so, oh, these ones are actually medium, but these look like they will fit him just fine. They were in the large section. They were supposed to be large. Yep, even says large, but oh well. Oh, no, maybe I got all mediums. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what I got, everybody? Um, these are actually, uh, yeah, we got this nice pair for them as well. Just gray and red. So, no, these ones are large. Got those. And then I found this um, really, really nice sweater. It is from the brand ChicSoul.com. It's, um, established in Auburn, Alabama. Um, anyway, it was $5. I am I forget sometimes that I'm not as big as I used to be, so I never really want to try on clothes that are like not a 4X, just because that's what I'm comfortable in. But I found this beautiful, beautiful sweater, and it is heavy, it is beautiful, it's like that pumpkin, like dark rust. And what's weird is the sleeves are so long on me 
I think this is absolutely beautiful and for five bucks and I guarantee you that this was a lot more expensive I didn't even realize what brand this was um, never even heard of this brand but I can guarantee you that it's gonna be probably pretty pricey so anyway grab this really really nice sweater for five for me <laughs> okay. okie dokie let's put you right here Okay, and then the last thing that we did pick up, well, I picked up, here's my receipt, by the way, I'll tell you what we paid, is, um, I know it is not a Vera Wang. It is a simply Vera, Vera Wang. It's this beautiful, beautiful, um, fake snakeskin satchel. Um, I thought it was really, really beautiful, though. It is simply by Vera Wang. I did look up the brand, and these are still $70 purses, um, at Kohl's. So, um, I would never spend $70 on a purse and it's really, really beautiful and it will probably be the closest I ever get to actually owning a Vera Wang bag, but I still thought it was in really good condition and, um, it was $4. So pretty good size as well. So, you know, when it comes to satchels, it's a pretty large one. Um, let's see here. I wish it had like crossbody, but it's fine that it doesn't. And the little snap still works so I, I think it's absolutely beautiful and absolutely lovely so I'm excited to use this during the fall so for four bucks couldn't really pass that up and then so that is what we got and we ended up spending $34.50 you know we got all the shorts so sorry excuse me we got all the shorts we've got um, uh, all yeah we got all the all kinds of stuff so yeah I think we did pretty pretty okay honestly when it comes to um, everything that we got um, so I I don't feel bad getting what we got you know we, we spent we did spend some money but I think it's okay and yeah I feel, I feel pretty good about it so anyway that is what we got that is how much we spent um i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did go and give the video a thumbs up share it all that kind of stuff let me know down below in the comments um are you all picking up anything at your local second hand stores are you doing back to school shopping are you doing holiday shopping let me know down below and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that i do upload seven days a week all about budget beauty usually i do vlogs hauls all sorts of stuff so make sure that you do subscribe but I appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start autoplaying here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see y'all here in just a second.